Well, over the last five years, we've done the Ford, we've done the Mopar, we've done the Chevy and the Corvette, we did the aluminum car and the Cobra, we've done just about every make and model. Well, now finally the Pontiac guys have something to cheer about. 70 GTO Judge Convertible. Arguably the hottest new muscle car with prices on Ram Air 4 cars hitting $300,000 for Judge Convertible. These cars are definitely getting some attention and some well-deserved attention. Well, the difference this year behind any of the other cars that we've done over the past few years is those cars have come in running, driving, complete cars. Even the Hemi, Hemi Challenger it needed restoration, but it was running and driving. Some of the other cars looked like they didn't even need restoration. Well, this one's come to us literally in baskets. It was in a restoration shop, or I should say a regular body shop for a number of years, sat in the corner. They started by stripping the car and just let it sit there. As far as parts go, the owner says everything's there. I'll tell you, I've never had a basket case where everything's there. There's always parts missing. The trick is finding out what's missing before you get too far into this thing. Let me show you some of the issues with the body panels. A typical mistake when guys start restorations is to get all excited and start stripping all the exterior panels. Now, they didn't strip the inside of the panels, and really what they've done here is they've left them to rot. And here's a big problem. Once this rust gets ingrained into the panel, it's our job now to try and get every little speck of rust out of it, and that's a lot of work. If you're going to strip the exterior, make sure you put it into an epoxy primer instantly. Otherwise, you've created a ton of work. Every single body panel in this car needs to be restripped and make sure that every little bit of rust is out or it's going to come back to haunt us. Now let's go upstairs and have a look at the parts. There's a whole bunch of issues with getting the car literally in baskets. Well, welcome to the parts nightmare. Do we have a bunch of parts? Absolutely. We've got a transmission. It looks like the original one, but it looks like it's been in a barn for a number of years. We have all the sheet metal here, but is it the right sheet metal? We've got a bunch of suspension components. Great, we've got new parts, but they're not really NOS parts. This is going to be a concourse restoration. We can't use that. Whoever ordered it probably, you know, should have left it to us to order the original stuff or went to a company like Year One to get the original parts. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking your car to a regular body shop as this one started out but keep in mind if they get busy their bread and butter is going to be in the collision work there's some talented body men that are capable of doing this sort of work but again the owner is going to say geez you know it snowed last week we got a bunch of cars in they need to get out yours is going to sit that's what happened here the car sat for a couple years started rusting who knows where all the parts went we get it in a basket it's going to take a lot longer now there is one upside to getting a car in pieces well, the only advantage might be that we can actually see what the floors and the quarter panels and the chassis is like on this thing. We had a look at the frame and actually the frame we got going on already, we actually got that piece sandblasted and, and we're going to put the body back on this to make sure all the panels line up. It looks like a couple of the panels are reproduction panels. But Having a look in here, you can see floors, nice and solid. Trunk pans, nice and solid. There is some rust around the quarter panels that we're going to have to address. So that is the only advantage. And let me tell you this, I mean, it will take literally probably an extra two to 300 hours to do this restoration for the simple fact that we're not sure what we're starting with. We don't know what bolts are missing. We don't know what bolts are broken. We don't know what was broken. We didn't have an opportunity to run the motor. Is the motor just a piece of junk? Is the transmission junk? We won't know that until we go through it. It's really nice to do a restoration with everything complete. Remember all the episodes where we showed you how we organize everything, categorize everything, bag it, label it, put it on the shelf, decide what's good and what's not? Well, we don't have that option here. Now we're scrambling to find if we have all the parts. So what's going to happen here is it's going to take us a lot longer to do this restoration and it's going to cost the customer a whole bunch more. Mm -hmm.